Singapore is shining with extraordinary stuff like incredible infrastructure, floating offices, and some mind-blowing bridges. But the bitter fact here is it's still lacking because of less availability of arable land, less manpower, and almost no appropriate resources. The majority of their food consumption is highly dependent on its imports. So what now? Is it a good sign? Well, not really. They must improvise in certain aspects to meet the growing demands on individuals. Governments have already come up with some solutions which could easily solve the issue and help the country to bloom in all sectors, including agriculture. What is the solution? An agri-tech economy. Yes, this will suit the best in the picture and will help in improvising the sector and meeting the demands. Why are experts optimistic about this innovative solution? What advancements can be spotted in restructuring the agriculture sector? Let's take a deeper dive to know what Singapore is on too. Which technique did Singapore opt for? Well, there was no such technique or process followed by them, and the result is they are currently growing less than 10% of the food required by its population. This is mainly because of the very less availability of land and natural resources which are needed for crop cultivation. This country has only about 724 square kilometers of farmland, which is very less for Singapore to be self-sufficient. To improvise on these aspects and reduce the dependency on imports for varied fruits and vegetables, they required a groundbreaking solution. It was not only this, but the country also faced a major issue of unpredictable weather events like droughts and floods as they were creating havoc and disruptions to global food supply and shooting up prices. And yes, lastly, the unexpected pandemic and global crisis left the nation in a miserable state. The supply chain was entirely bumbled and abrupt volatility in food prices resulted in very less or almost no food accessible to the island nation. What now? The plants in the pipeline are phenomenal. Soon, with the implementation of new technologies and ideas, it'll become an urban agriculture technology hub. They're paving the way for a sophisticated and sustainable technology that'll solve the issues of self-sufficiency and for food security in the next few years soon to be an agri-tech nation. What is the newly buzzed technology which is driving greater self-sufficiency? The Singaporean government has already aimed to restructure its entire agriculture sector, and at the same time, they have heavily invested in technology and machinery which will help in enhancing productivity. Mainly, their core focus is on vertical farms, indoor farming and containment fish farms, which will help in achieving the stated target by 2030. Hashtag high-tech egg farms. The first innovative technology which will restructure the agriculture sector is increasing the productivity yield of eggs. These are the richest source of protein that an individual can consume. Realizing this fact, eggs are in huge demand in the market. With Agritech, they're trying to produce as many as varied types of eggs at the three chicken farms in the country. These farmlands are specifically named Choose Agriculture, NNN Agriculture, and lastly, Sengchun Farm. The process of maintaining and raising chicken here is so easy now, as with automation, every process is amazingly automated, eventually being more accurate and less time-consuming. From the feeding of hens to the collection, grading, and packaging of eggs, every process is carried out either by AI-powered robots, machinery, or various other automation facilities. All of them are working under the Singapore Quality Egg Scheme, where quality is their core aim. They timely monitor the system to ensure freshness and quality standards are followed by the food agency. The results of these advancements in the technique are classic. The productivity is shooted up and they also have managed to maintain the egg quality. One can also tweak the egg production and come up with some specialized products like nutrient-enriched, pasteurized, and ready-to-eat eggs. To date, this innovation is only applied to large sector farms and is still left to be adopted by local farms. If this happens, then one can easily get access to high-quality yield with a varied variety of products. Hashtag closed containment fish farms. Now it's fish farming which is improvising and eventually boosting up the quality as well as quantity of the output produced. Just like indoor farmings, they have found an innovative way to increase production yield by closed containment systems. This extraordinary technique will have a controlled environment that can produce a variety of fishes without any need for external elements like rising sea temperature, algae blooms, or oil spills. These were the major weaknesses for outdoor fishing as if any of those aspects crossed its level that it could wipe out tons of fish which could be a major loss for the nation. However, now they need not worry about the same. 
Even in this fishing habitat, they're using artificial intelligence to test the health and growth rates. If anything absurd is observed, the trigger is immediately generated and actions are taken to solve the problem and continue the smooth grow of tons of fish. Mainly in the Agriculture Center of Excellence, EcoArc and Apollo Agriculture Group's vertical land-based fish farm, experts have applied this method to produce more yield with lesser energy and cleaner water. The system suits the best to the current situation as it's perfectly designed from all corners be it productivity, space utilization, or fewer labor requirements. Soon, with increasing adoption rates for this amazing technology and creating a suitable environment, high-tech farms will be working at full capacity and hence able to produce significant amounts of yield. And the best part about this closed containment system is the output is safe and healthy to consume. Hashtag Vertical Vegetable Farms The next interesting stuff buzzed here is vertical outdoor and indoor vegetable farms. Just like book stacks arranged vertically, these vertical farms are arranged with a stack of plants one above the other and are grown with minimum resources, and the results are amazing. The quality of crops is not at all compromised, and all farmers can harvest 24-7 without worrying about the temperature outside. And the best part about vertical farming is that the yield produced over the year is much more than what is produced by conventional methods. From traditional labor-intensive farmings to tech-savvy farms, the agriculture sector has bloomed amazingly in the past few years. This tedious process is now entirely automated in the hands of robots and high-tech machinery. One such vertical farm in Singapore is Kai Greens, Sustainer, and Verde Veggies, which have adopted this technology. Well, the solution is quite simple and reasonable. Any government can opt for indoor vertical farms. Just like other offices function in a skyscraper, a vertical farm also grows crops in those skyscrapers without even a need for sunlight or any other resources like massive amounts of soil or fresh rainwater for healthy plants. Just beside the supermarkets, we can spot these skyscrapers which are reserved for vertical farms and are growing fresh leafy vegetables, delicious fruits, and the best quality vegetables. So the idea of this vertical farm is phenomenal. These vertical farms are amazingly powered by 100% renewable energy and are equipped with 15% more efficient LED lighting. The best part is that they have installed a customized state-of-the-art water recapture and filtration system which will help in harnessing the water that's transpired from plants, and most prominently, they're assuring the highest quality food safety standards. Isn't it the feasible solution? Indeed it is. Hashtag advancements in technology. AI-driven farming technology, automated heavy machinery, and big data-driven pesticide treatment plans are some of the things one can spot in the revolutionizing agriculture sector. Now these scientific techniques, drones, and specialized robots are used to maintain the entire farmland. The tedious process, which was earlier done by workers, is now entirely managed by automated systems. With this integration in the agricultural sector, the problem of labor shortage was also solved, and now agricultural yield produced is also massive because of the new scientific techniques. Next are the UAVs. While monitoring the farmland and taking care of it using light spectrum technology, these drones can spray pesticides and fertilizers evenly in their required area. Also, if already settings are done, then these drones will complete the entire task in one go through GPS-defined routes. And the best part about these drones is they can be controlled through a small device from long distances and the reminder triggers when the drone is out of pesticides and it needs a refill. One of the farmers shared his experience and said how his 1.5 months of tedious work is now done within a couple of days. So be it time, energy, costs, and pesticides, everything is saved if more and more farmers switch to drones. Another excellent advancement in agriculture machine technology is the robots. It's not only until sowing and harvesting that these modernized equipment are also used to gather information on environmental factors, soil fertility, and crop growth when in different stages. This AI-powered equipment can also assist in guiding agricultural field management, and the results are super. So advancements are crazy, and so are its targets. These are some of the steps taken by Singapore and its agriculture sector to improve. So what are your thoughts on these actions? Are these feasible for quick growth with excellent quality? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching how Singapore is advancing its farming sector, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.